Are you struggling to create videos that are engaging for your business? You know, that was my problem when I first started creating videos. And the answer is pretty simple. As a former IT professional, 80% of my time was spent on planning and videography is no different. Before you click the record button, here are some questions you should ask yourself. This is also called the planning phase. The first question you should be asking yourself is, what is my topic? Picking your topic can sometimes be difficult. One trick I've used that helps me is communicating with my social media network. For example, on LinkedIn, I messaged my connections asking what information they would find valuable when searching for a video production company, which is how I came up with uh, this video topic for today. It's important to know what your potential customers want to see. Sometimes reports can't give you the answers that you're looking for. It's important to understand the demographics of the platforms you're posting on. If you're looking to do B2B, LinkedIn is great. If you're doing B2C, platforms like Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram are ideal. Also, each platform has its own formatting requirements. If you're doing Instagram, your video format should be four by five, or if you're doing YouTube shorts, nine by 16. It's important before you start anything else to decide what the purpose of this video is. Determining the purpose such as sales, demo, branding, etc., will assist you in how you format your scripting. If you're doing a sales video, focus on one product or service you're offering. Uh, you're, if you're doing a branding video, it's about company culture, behind the scenes, and value statements without the intent of selling something. Once you've answered those three questions, you can start the script writing process. When I first started out, I winged it. However, over time, as I began to implement the power of scripting, retention and engagement increased. Creating a script with your direction in mind will help you determine everything else moving forward. It will help you determine your shot list, your storyboard, what background music you're gonna use, the flow. You know, I found that this makes the whole video production process much easier, uh, allowing you to produce more content quicker, which is, that's as business owners, that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Before you click that record button, I recommend that you read the script out loud a few times to reduce the amount of stuttering and filler words, or just have it constantly re-record. If you have an iPhone, you have a built-in teleprompter in the Pages app. What I like to do is use the pages on my iPhone and place it on top of the lens because placing it close to the lens allows you to look like you're looking at the camera while reading your script. Most importantly, especially if you're monotone like me, when reading, learn how to fluctuate your voice, emphasize the important words, and don't bore your listener. All of this may seem like it's either too simple or more work than it needs to be done. In my opinion, following a process makes life easier for your video editor or your video production company. When using this method, the post-production time of my videos are reduced by around 50%. So if you're paying a guy like me to edit your video, this translates into lower overall production costs and increased revenue by reducing wasteful spending. In video editing and video production services is what my company offers. I have a premium video editing package where I actually will do the scripting and everything for, for you from start to finish. So go ahead and reach out to me uh, via my email. If you click on the about section, uh, you'll be able to get my email, send me an email and we will start a dialogue and see if me editing a video for you is something worthwhile. If you found any of this content valuable, please take a moment to like, share, or comment. I'm always interested to hear your results and your questions because it helps me make better content for you. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. See, my name is Jason. I'm the owner of Garfield Media, a video production and editing company.